Well, one hole's drill and uh, <coughs> the headstand's now back on so I can drill the, uh, the second uh, hole. Um, I've made sure I've had to reposition this. So, we're on 25 now. Twenty-six there. Right, that's off. These things always slightly move when you tighten them up. Twenty-two. There we go. So, put those down. Just make sure this is aligned. By the way, I did check the straightness of that edge. And um, off to the drill press again. Well, all four bolt holes have been uh, drilled and tapped. The head's been fitted. Uh, the alignment is good. It took a lot, takes a lot to get the alignment there. Um, to help with keeping the alignment, I've still, still got to put some star washers underneath um, all the four uh, bolts. But um, uh, yes, we're, we're now going to align this this edge here 90 degrees to the bed. Again, we've got our um, this is actually going to, this is the uh, temporary work table uh, material, three uh, three inch or 75 mil. So we've mounted this onto the uh, onto the bed. That's because we have this step of this base. Um, it it clears the base. Of that, and now we're just going to check to make sure that we're 90 degrees. This is a one and a half hour feeler gauge. These are only temporary bolts. Once this is all drilled and tapped, I think there's eight um, countersunk screws that go in there. Then those two bolts will come out and uh, holes left behind. Let's go back, go back a little bit. I shouldn't be so critical because again this is a, uh, this is a couple of step or three step process so really it's the the second hole that I've got to be super critical of but at the present moment that's um, that's aligned 90 degrees to the base all I have to do now is mark off where the um, 
bolts have to go, the cup head screws, and um, yeah, repeat the whole process again. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you later. Bye.